Well, Tampa's getting ready for its 4th of July celebration. Boom by the Bay will be a fireworks spectacular, and it's the first one. I'm joined by one of the organizers, Rachel Radowick, and Darian Cobb with Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Ladies, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having us. So, this is the inaugural one. Normally, I'm always like, so tell us about the <laughs> event for people who've never been. None of us have ever been. Exactly. So, we need to know kind of the who, what, when, where, why, so we can be as well prepared as possible. Yeah, of course. Um, Mayor Castor is extremely excited about this first signature event for her, and so what we're doing is we're doing two and a half miles of riverfront fireworks. So there's going to be four viewing locations, five different barges going off. You'll have Armature Work and Sparkman Wharf anchoring the event. Um, you'll also be able to view fireworks at uh, the convention center. And then Julian B. Lane Riverfront Park is where the big celebration is going to be taking place. And we'll have two barges launching from there. Wow. And actually, Julian B. Lane Park is having a special takeover with the Hard Rock. Yes, we're so excited. We are um, going to be providing stilt walkers and balloons. There's going to be a face painting station for kids. And also, we're bringing in in the group One Night Rodeo from Atlanta to close out the show, but there's going to be live music starting at 6 p.m. for everyone. So for your kids who are definitely easily distracted, send them over to Julie <laughs> yes. and be late. So yes. have stuff to do. And then um, I know that a lot of things that happen downtown, yeah. we're always worried about logistics and parking. But in this case, mm -hmm. Heart is providing a service that may save us all from parking fees. Yes. <laughs> Hart came in and graciously decided to make all rides free on July 4th. So that was huge and we're so thankful to that. But not only if you're taking the Hart bus in, but if you decide to drive into downtown, you can find parking at any of the city garages. And the great thing about this event is because you have that two and a half mile stretch, anywhere you park, firework viewing is in close walking distance. And I know we always talk about people who are always trying to outsmart the organizers <laughs> and go somewhere else to yeah. view it. But there are these locations are very specific because um, I know you were saying some people are were already saying oh we'll just kind of stake out Curtis Hickson. Yeah do not go to Curtis Hickson <laughs> you will not be able to see fireworks just kind of the way that the river bends you won't be able to see anything from there mm -hmm. but we do have two overflow locations as well we'll be down one down on the south which is Coat and Choby where you'll be able to see Sparkman and the convention centers nice. or Waterworks Park where you'll be able to see Armature and Julian B. Lane. And so fireworks start at nine but um, there's going to be stuff going on through the day that's what you were talking about at Julian B. Lane and um, a couple of other with the Sparkman Wharf and Armature Works. Yeah. They're going to be doing some family events. Yeah, everything really starts to kick off at noon up at Armature. Sparkman kicks off at 4 and then the Convention Center and Julian B. Lane at 6. Okay, and we want to remind you guys, as you saw with Shay's forecast, we do have a little bit yeah. of rain in the forecast, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stop the show. What's the only thing that's going to stop the show? If there's lightning, because obviously that's a danger, but if there's a little bit of rain, we're still going to move forward. We might just have to slow the start time. But fireworks are going to launch on the 4th as long as it's safe. And then for people looking for any more information, how can they find that? Well, there's boombythebay.com, but also the easiest way is to text BOOM, B-O-O-M, to 888-777. Easy. Then you get those push alerts straight yep, to your phone. Yep, exactly. Those text alerts. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. We are going to put it out in the air that Boom by the Bay is going to be an uber success. It is. It's going to be great. So, yeah, so go ahead and figure out where you're going to be and uh, go ahead and round up the family for Boom by the Bay. It's going to be a fun time. Thanks awesome. again for coming on the show. Thank you. Lauren, back to you. All right.